It's here! Might as well start from the top, then. Let's see... What we got going on. I will admit straight up. I haven't watched a whole lot of the uh, pre-release content on this. Um, I don't necessarily like to know what's in my Christmas presents. Sometimes. Give me a rough idea and uh, I'll play with the details. So what I'm going to do is uh, be surprised by some things probably. So if you guys expected me to be a master of it and be like, all right, so this is exactly how it works. No, um, but you get to hang out and uh, we get to BS while I play with it, figure it out. So that'll be fun. That's always fun. That's kind of what we do. All right. Yeah, do I need to read all of these? Hey! <clears throat> That'll make Teddy real happy. Find these in the content creator trees. Cool. So they did keep them separate. In the content creator trees. I know, I'm reading them backward. Oh, hell. That's what's up. Oh, it's only three options. Okay. I don't care about buying and doing soil. If that's all that they added to the landscaping, good. I hope they didn't change the landscaping tool very much. I hope they just gave you the option to buy and sell, which is what that looks like. They just added two buttons there. The new maps, absolutely. <clears throat> <laughs> Come with plenty of space to build your new airport, okay? What does that mean? Don't be teasing me. Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna see all that fun stuff. Transportation hubs, bus, metro, and train. Oh, right into the concourses. Yeah, that part I knew. So that's kind of why I'm like doing a new city, so that I can base it on the airport. Um, also because I regret picking desert. Um. <clears throat> Ooh, special cargo. Specialized cargo aircraft stands. Oh, okay. So is it an aircraft stand that's specialized to cargo, or are you going to need one for, like, oil or farm? That would... <laughs> no. Cargo airport roads... Let's see how they've, quote, optimized them for efficient traffic flow. That's, that's interesting. Alright. Oh, yeah. Airport, air, airline management. Yep, yep. Makes sense. Alright, cool. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unlock things, unlock things, take care of it. Different stuff. Zoning, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Got it. I never say don't show me it again, because you never know. So, I picked up some of the radio stations I also didn't have before. So, I think I was missing, like, Railhawk and whatever one came out with that. Whatever radio stations came out with, uh... Bridges and trains and shit. I skipped those. But I did get the ones that came out with Sunset Harbor. So, like, I've had Coast to Coast forever, but I've not had Railhawk. But, either way, we're probably going to listen to On Air. So, new game, new map. <sighs> back, of the, back of the deck. Oh, map packs at the end. I forgot about that. Oh my god, I might not have to trash the stock interchanges. You know, but I will. Because that's what I do. <gasps> that one's already pretty farmland. 
Why is that tropical? <laughs> I looked at that and I'm like, that one's gonna be Europe. <laughs> it's just not even close. Tropical, tropical. All right, there we go. <clears throat> River Valley Plain. Oh man, that's like the middle of Frozenshire. That's what's up. You got the really tight and then the other. Yeah. All right, I like that shit. Mountain taper. Meandering river. Oh man, come on. I love that. I already see out of the corner of my eye this next one is just farmland as shit. Look at this. Bah! <laughs> oh. Does that one have that one does have a C connection. This one doesn't. Hmm. Hmm. And then why is that one European? <laughs> know what I mean? Shouldn't this one have been tropical and the other one have been... Whatever. You know what, if they let us use all trees on all maps, then I don't care. Because we can use all buildings on all maps. So, and it's just the ground, which is that. Biomes Valley. Is it just, like, explicitly split up? Yeah. It's an explicit biome divide. That's half desert, half plains. It's separated by a river. You know. As they did do. It's up to, what? 17? 16? 17? Did they change the biome lines? Did they, uh... I haven't actually been on the most modern version yet, so... Did they do, um... Better biome fading? No, you port. That looks cool as hell! That's so much water! Why? I just won't buy the water. Okay. Hanami Bay. Asano Beach. Asano. It's not ass, it's Asano. Asano Beach. Wow. I see a theme going with the, uh, with the airports ones. We're gonna do a map pack one. Not that I don't like the airports ones. Honestly, my... <clears throat> In order to be fair to people my next community pick isn't gonna be soon I'm gonna give everyone time to breathe on these 11 maps we all just got well some of us just got um, you know what I'm not even gonna guess I was thinking that I might make my next map pick one out of the, uh, the community pick I might make it one out of the uh... so that looks really cool but I have no ocean connection but if I have no ocean connection, that's fine, because we're supposed to be leaning on our air connections here. Right? Yes. But everybody loves rails, so... <sighs> you can't use a good rail every once in a while. <sighs> Alright, don't do drugs. Um, no, really, I, I don't, I don't do anything up my nose. I don't know. Um, you know what, it was, it's calling to me. I don't have a name that's calling to me. Be easy, what's good, I'm about to start this new shit.
Yo, check out these maps while I got you here real quick. Are you getting this, like, today? No, you said you were going to finish your city and then get on this. Right? Some of these maps, I look at I look at these, I'm like, yo, I might not actually have to tear down the highways. I mean, you know I'm going to. But, like, some of these... Ah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly. I'm starting to I'm starting to remember stories to go along with everybody. It's more what was that person working on and what were they It was easy to remember that you were gonna finish up your cities because you fill maps quickly. <laughs> yeah, we got a couple of desert maps. Uh, in the map pack. These two are in the map pack. So, this one's called Desert Pass. Um, and this one's called Biomes Valley. And if you look in the picture, it explicitly switches biomes across the river. So, that one's pretty interesting. Actually, it has a little bit of a biome switch down in the right bottom right corner as well. So, that one looks interesting just from the picture. Some of these map pack ones are already, like, divided it up into European-style farmland, which is adorable. Um, and then, you know, like, I like the Meandering River. I'm thinking of either doing Meandering River or River Valley Plain. Um, maybe. Or mine. Or my start here. Oh, and then there's maps that came with airports. You got they're very port themed. You know, that one a lot of water looks like bay, beach yeah so, you would still get three maps if you didn't get the map pack, but if you get the map pack as well, you're looking at you're looking at a nice little handful one, two, three four, five six, seven, eight and then nine, ten, eleven between the two of them. So, eight in the pack, three in the DLC. Like just the amount of maps that console has if you have all of the DLC is starting to get to a point where it's like, alright, if you bitch about not having map choices, shut up. <laughs> like, even if you have been here for six years. You get the map pack and pick, you know. I never know what to put in a desert city because I really like doing my trees and shit. So, I, I just, I, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of part of why I shat the bed on Desert Oasis build. I would like put trees next to the road and be like, it looks really stupid. I hate this. <laughs> so. Um. I do build. Within my realm a little bit. So I'm thinking. Either River Valley Plain. So I'm between River Valley Plain and Meandering River. Simply because I like the river thing going on. And they're both boreal. So I don't have to think about which one is which theme. Um. Okay. Let's look at the resources. Just the availability of them here. I don't know what the spread is. That seems to be very resource heavy. That's good. That seems to be almost as resource heavy. Alright. No differences here. Suitable area 59. Suitable area 83. Alright. So this one's got a lot more flat to it. Okay. This one has a C connection. This one does not. That suitable area for building is really getting me, though. I haven't built anything just massively expansive. The last city that I really fucked with was Frozenshire, and it doesn't have any big flat pieces in it at all. The flat part of it's broken up by rivers like crazy, like this shit. So, you know what? <clears throat> I'm leaning on here. I know I was about to do this 
when Be Easy stopped in the chat. He's still here. I know. Give me a second. I think it's this one. Tropical trees and colorful trees. Yeah, I mean... <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. I'll just admit when a style just fucks with my head and I'm like, eh. I, I just, eh. I don't know. I, I don't dislike desert cities or anything. I don't have any problem with them at all. I'm just like, I haven't... All the little details you get when you've been somewhere especially a lot and having to think about all of those on top of everything else is just kind of like i don't know that might have been it it also might have been that i got a really late start on it and it very 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 easily and probably most likely was that i knew that this was around the corner and i was just like why the hell would i play with my old toys when I'm getting new ones tomorrow, you know, that kind of thing. Like, I don't give a shit. And I know that some people do the exact opposite, and they're like, I really need to get the, the most out of these toys before I replace them. And I'm like, man, that new shit's coming out. I'm gonna just wait. <laughs> so, that's, that's probably part of it, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Alright, let's start. Springwood, yeah, no. <laughs> Kiggity, but no. Um, <laughs> let's do Should we throw it back and call it River Run? Uh I have no idea. I'm terrible with city names. I'll think of one within like the first week or something. Let's just call it a new start. No. <laughs> it's like, does your license plate say... <laughs> it's like, what? No. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that's where I've heard of it before. Yeah, never mind. Like, it doesn't sound like a bad name, and I'm like, oh, yeah, because it's been taken. That's the problem with any name that has any good ring to it. It's already from some shit. Know what I mean? <laughs> like, the fuck? I was like, you know what? I'm gonna call this. I'm gonna call this area Port Elizabeth. And somebody stopped in, and they're like, "Yeah, dude, that's a major city in my country." And I'm like, "Face palm. I'm an idiot. Duh. Of course, I've heard of it." <laughs> Riverview. You know what? Let's just be super on the head. River City. <laughs> Why not? We have places called fucking Ocean City. We have multiple places called Ocean City. Oh, you been to Ocean City? Which one? <laughs> New Jersey, what the fuck are you talking about? Okay. Mm <laughs> Yo. Weather should make your planes get all fucky in high wind. Like, your planes should... You should have, like, delays and stuff. In bad weather. In your airports. That would be an interesting tie-in between the two. And fucking, I don't know if it does or not. <laughs> All right. Oh, nope, that's Planet Coaster. <laughs> Alright. 
tell you the camera movement in this is way snappier than Planco. That's probably one of the only things that really bugs me about that game. Is it's fucking... Of course, it gets hooked on everything that you're trying to look at, that's why. Alright, so... And we can already see that, like... It looks like skylines. <laughs> Can't see anything. Alright, so... Ooh, ooh. Look, new buttons. Okay. Hang on. The first thing is first. Um, trying to remember where things are. Here it is. Ooh. There it is. Alrighty. So. Which pieces of land am I buying? Did you know I just nine tile it right out? Look at the info. Oil. Ooh, ooh I gotta get that oil. Oh, there ain't no oil over there. Ooh, but they're rocks. Gotta get that oil. <laughs> Alright, which way has the sea connection? Over here, obviously. Which way is the sea? I think it's up, I think it's upstream. You know, where it gets narrower and goes up a hill. That's, that's where the ocean is. Um... Okay, well then I am guess I'm going this way. Am I going... Am I going all the way this way? I'll have to see if I can cheat it. Because this might not actually contain the, uh... The path, but... If you put something here, it might be able to get it there. So where is the... Where's the sea route? What is that? Regular ass harbor. I'm like looking at things like I don't know what they are. Because I haven't played this game since Christmas. Seriously, I've put like 10 hours into Skyline since December 24th. Some of you guys are like, I put 10 hours into Skylines yesterday. You know? Like that kind of shit. <laughs> Okay, that was my guess, that it's on the next block, but get it from here. Well, if you were super slick with it, you could get it from, like, built some shit out here. Get it from, like... See, that's why I gotta check these things. I didn't necessarily need to buy that next tile, but now we, let me look at... Oh my god. Yeah, I could have just looked at the ground and went, oh yeah, there's oil here. Hey, Skylights players, what is this? What does this look like? Yeah. That's got that liquid gold in there. Are these little ore deposits around here? That would be weird. But very likely. Oh, nope. a little bit of ore! A little bit of ore! Holy hell, that oil patch. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah, all the farmland! Shit! You know why a lot of these maps have a lot of farmland? <clears throat> airports are built next to farms! No, not next to farms, but a lot of, like, air bases and older airports and stuff were built on farmland outside of the city. That it just looks good. So we've got these two squares. I'm not rushing this at all. I am exploring this DLC 
all damn day. That's why I started at 8 o'clock in the morning instead of like 11. God, that three hour head start is gonna bite me in the ass around lunch. <laughs> Considering my normal break time is now eight hours from now instead of five hours from now. Alright, whatever. Um, it'll fly by. <laughs> fly by. Alright, so I definitely kind of want to go this way and grab that highway. I don't want just a single connection into my city. That's some bullshit, and you know it. We've all been there. <clears throat> Seven Lakes, where you have just this to deal with, and you're like, oh my god, you want me to build the whole network? And you'd think that I would be like, hell yeah! But you know what? Having the whole network come off of one node, or one node, well, essentially two nodes, it's a big ol' pain in the dick. Even if I do get to build the whole thing, it still has to base out of one thing. Like, even, did Riverport have more than one highway in and out of it? I don't honestly remember the external connections for Riverport other than the airports and the and the riverports. I was thinking maybe I would retrofit one of the one of my uh, existing builds with this stuff. Cuz there's one that I did. There's the one that I did on uh between Swamplands, there's one I did on Seven Lakes, it was between the Swamplands build and the Frozenshire build, and, um, yeah, I thought about retrofitting that, because it was right around the point where it was, while well, I was getting in an airport, um, do I want to go across the river, and this way, or do I want to go across the river and this way? This way looks way more fun. Right? This one's more coastal. I definitely have more shipping options. Puts my airport in this back corner, which it would be either way. I think it's gonna be... I don't want to own pieces of the river. I want to have both sides of it so I can bridge across it and build stuff on the other side. So I think this is where we're going to be here. The Brontosaurus. For millennia, these gentle and graceful giants roamed the earth. Yep. Grazing that looks like the, the map. Vegetation of All the right. Time. Their mere existence transformed the landscape and made a lasting impact on our world. It's that legacy that Dino Oil is proud to continue by using their eons old dead bone goop to fuel your five door wagon, making it the oldest form of recycling there is. Dino Oil, embrace the power of bones. As a lot of my regular listeners know, I'm a bit of a math nut, and I've been keeping up on the latest videos. Well, I've got news for you people that is going to blow your mind. Based on what we know right now, we have good reason to believe that numbers larger than one don't even exist. Two, three, four? Forget it. That's a complete myth. A dozen eggs? Think again. Makes you wonder what other things we believe in that are just the mind playing tricks on us. Trying to make sense of this crazy world of ours. It's a lot to take in. I know. Try to take it in small doses. For now, let's get back to the music.
<laughs> Alrighty, I'm back. Um, my stomach does not like me being up and active this early. It's like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> It's not crazy early, but it's early for me. So, getting the road on the show, we are going to, um, uh, I guess we're going to start looking at new toys. It's like, this isn't, okay, you know what? Is that really a height of four done in two two drops? At least over here, it's a height of four done in what? Four drops? Like it should? All right. You know what? I hate to do it, but we are gonna analyze this that came with the fucking <laughs> yes. That is what we are doing. The first thing I had no idea, I had no intention of doing this. We are going to analyze this interchange and see if it's built board spec. That's dead straight. Good. I'd hope so. These two are on the same line. Good. These two have... Nice. They actually have the middle space in between them. If you really wanted to rock something off of it, you could. I like that spacing. Also leaves room to expand. If you wanted to fatten these up a little bit, you wouldn't run out of space here. Like, say I wanted to make these... Um, buh, 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 if I wanted to make these two lanes, you know, especially the off, would definitely fatten this up, make the off a second lane, uh, here, and then have this just be, you know, lane math two and two. Um, this I think just personally is out a little bit far for my taste, also is not straight lined up. Look at this. Oh no, it's very, very close. I understand how that can be missed. Um, it can be missed when you, you don't use that line itself to make the thing. Um, same thing here, it leans out a little bit. It could be just a tiniest bit of an intentional pull. Um, no big. Don't care. Not gonna hate that at all. Um, however, this height difference, you could have started it from back here. Unless it's a height of four, in which case my answer, my, my question is why? And why don't you just go flat from here, right? So let's check. One, two, three, four. Called it. All right. You don't actually need to go up four. You only need to go up three, except for the fact that this one goes up that one there. So if this goes three, two, one to the ground, then we wouldn't have this issue. So why is this at four? These don't need to be at four. We're gonna keep your lines here. You know what? I don't even know if this is exactly where I'm gonna want it. That was really close, except for the fact that it went up to a height of four when it didn't have to, and only and that is why it dropped down. Looking so it looked like a double down. No, not that chicken sandwich that was chicken. Okay, that thing was fat as hell. There was no way to eat it without feeling like a fat shit, even though it didn't have a bun. Because, was it, who remembers the double down from KFC? All right, this is some real fat shit stoner moment right here. I remember when I was in college, KFC came out with a sandwich called the double down. And it was a boneless chicken, a, yeah, it was a, Fried boneless chicken breast, sauce, like special sauce, cheese, bacon, cheese, another boneless fried chicken breast, no bun, that's it. <laughs> so it was basically like bacon and cheese and sauce between two pieces of chicken. And that was the, the fucking sandwich. And there was no way to eat it without feeling like a fat shit because it dripped grease all the way down your fucking elbow every time you tried to take a bite because you're eating two of them greasy bitches at the same time. And it was just, oh my god. I think I've had like two or three of them ever. Okay, but yeah, that looked like a, a not the sandwich. 
Oh, look at this hell. Loads of fan mail. Oh, I love this. Radio, all good, very few exceptions, but you know, we like to be fair and balanced here. Yes, so I did while, see that. I didn't play with it yet, but yes, you can. File. I didn't give us any of this Keith stuff, right? There isn't anything new hiding in the roads, Harry, is there? The only Other than... To your show is that you're a grumpy, angry clown, and they like it when you get them all riled up. Ah, uh, Heath. My listeners tune in because they want the truth. Oh, uh, where's the tool to do that? Is mathematics. Let me see. Now, Maybe if I just click on the road. You no. know very little about Heath, but you keep paying attention. You're bound to get it eventually. This is Harry Live, and we are on air. <laughs> That might be one of them things where I'm just like, okay, is that from the tree menu, or is that from... Yep, okay. In the tree menu, you just click on it, and it goes, what do you want to do? Can you do it with every tree? Don't tell me you can do it with every tree. Shut the hell up! Alright. <laughs> Check it out. Bang! <laughs> oh, you can't do it with the cluster? Alright, fine. Oh, and you can't do it with all of them, all of them, but you can do it with a lot of the major ones. Okay. I was like, you can do it with any of them? What the fuck? Can you do it with the decoratives? No. Can you do it with these guys? No. Alright, well... Oh, wait, no, I just changed the tool size. My bad. Hang on. Yeah, you can. But it gives you... Little ones. Gives you those. Gives you these. Holy shit, this is cool. You can do it with the decorative ones. Of course you can. That's so cool. You. Oh my god, you knew I would do it. Okay, well this absolutely... I love this. See, I had heard that they were going to put this... I, like, I heard that this was going to be a thing in it. And when Samus told me, I said, Alright, stop spoiling things for me. But thank you for reminding me of that. And uh, getting that out of my system real early. Yeah, you're about to go ape shit with the trees, dude. Just the new trees and the ability to change the trees on the roads. Yeah. You make fucking gardens that people live in. <laughs> Act like I don't see. <laughs> I actually don't lurk a whole lot of people, but because of the timing that you happen to go on around when I go to bed, you you get a lot of the, like, you get a lot of the long lurks. <laughs> just because I'm like, oh cool, I'll leave be easy on, or be easy on and just, yep, cool. It's a good place to leave it. <laughs> nah, dude, I, I can't, I can't retrofit. That's gonna drive me nuts. Start a new city, play with everything, start a new I mean, finish the one you were on. I'm not saying ditch the one, ditch what you were going to do anyway. Um, but yeah, like start a new city, get all that, but sure as fuck, don't go back and retrofit old, old ones. <laughs> you could retrofit the one you're in, which is probably the smarter way to play with the DLC. Um, it's definitely the smarter way to play with the DLC is to fuck around with it in a city that is mostly built so you can see what it does more so and then you don't have to build your city up just to play with something like i'm not gonna see people use my airport for a long time <laughs> oh just go around and hit the road thing and be like trees trees trees, trees. just on the roads okay you're gonna be like changing vehicle types and stuff changing vehicle types oh my god God, stop. Vehicle types. Alright, I, I didn't need that, but... Vehicle 
types. Oh, you're at work now. Shit. All right. All good, be easy. Thanks for stopping by, man. We will see you later. I know I'm gonna be hanging out here. It's gonna take some real shit to knock me off of this today. minibus <laughs> actually if you really want yeah no the little <laughs> super bendy bus oh oh all right i'm sorry did that trailer say that there's horses that you can change out <laughs> it's like you go to your Cemetery and crematorium, and you could change them to like. Was one of them the Rolls Royce hearse? All right. At this point, I'm literally just playing with things. Um, it's not garbage. It's health. What is this? Oh, just the basic one. Right, right, yeah. You know what? Let's do. style buildings. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think there'd be anything really new here. However, you are going to have... Yeah, that doesn't fit there, ding dong. Luxury hearse. Yes, it is. Random model. Oh, cool. But yes, that's... I'm almost positive in the commercial I saw that that was a Rolls Royce hearse. And I was like, why? That is excessive. That's awesome. It's like, because when it's not an import, it's not as excessive. Okay, how do I... I'm like completely forgetting how to play this freaking game. My size keep getting turned up. I like the highway that like meanders over the hills. I don't like how not flat it is in here, though. It can meander up and down the hills once it gets over there. I think. But, like, for a good portion of it, I need it to be flat. Like. Alright. Let me look at the new toys. Ah, gives you a better idea what, what we're playing feel with here. Like to drive a cloud? What does it feel like to steer a river? What does it smell like to smell a mountain? Nice airside, straight up decorations, do the facilities. Now we've succeeded in letting you drive the undrivable. You think maybe they drop a few new commercials in here? The car no. engineers said shouldn't be made. Test drive one today. And you know what? I haven't been listening long enough to know that they haven't. The so. realm of safe driving. Concourses. Jubilee. Ooh, different be shapes. Or be fast. Fast. 
Thank you for joining us today. This is On Air Radio with your host, Harry Live. We'll be back. Well, I that guy. He's pretty straight to the point. <laughs> we'll be back. Yeah, we will. Wait, 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 wait. We would do it to this one too, wouldn't it? Hey, this is how I learn shit. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh my god, that's too much. <laughs> they do that to some rich prick's driveway. You know they do that shit too. Yo, but now that's the private driveway instead of doing that to a dirt road. Just do that to this road and it's like... <laughs> you have smaller? That's why the size keeps changing. I keep forgetting to back the menu all the way out to trees. Okay, so my question was... The new ones, too? Yes. Oh, hell, really? Okay, well, now I might actually know what to do with some tropical. Now that we have more than two tropical trees. Like, tropical was like, you've got a tall tree and a short bush, and that's it. Now we've got more... How many community trees we got? Okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. Wild hedges. Not very big. Tall grass cluster. Oh, that's useful to spam out next to a highway. There's your highway brush. Now I don't have to use big bush and all that other kinds of dumb shit. I can just use this. Oh, okay. Nice. What's this one called? Boopity 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 boop. Okay. This is okay. This is too cool. Whoa, oh, that's that's fat bastards. Oh, okay. It's more of an oak-shaped oak. Yeah, we got a giant ass oak tree in our backyard. It's really cool to have, except for, you know, the roots and the, uh, the acorns and shit. Oh yeah, and the hundred billion leaves it drops every season. Like, this year I gave up. I was like, you know what? They are where they are. Deal with them in the spring. That's sick of chasing them. But this all is just so cool. Alright, so now I know I can use those elements in designing some of the decorative stuff. You're with us on Why do I feel like I'm missing huge chunks of shit I bought? Real today. Just the fundamentals everybody's comfortable with. Uh, addition, uh, subtraction, multiplication, and division. What could go wrong? Okay, so we're gonna have airport. Division is the greatest threat of our age, and yet some people, some people dedicate their lives to making themselves part of the problem. You know exactly who I'm talking about. Math teachers. A math teacher will just sneer at you and say division is simply multiplication by the inverse. Well, that's all well and good until you get lower than one and the numbers start to skyrocket. Oh, and don't even think about dividing by zero. That's not infinity, ladies and gentlemen. That is an undefined number. You plug that number into a computer, you just gave that computer permission to do anything it wants. You want to take a nincompoop, unfit to operate a calculator, and give them the power to set off a global apocalypse? Think about it. 
All right, we'll be back after this. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just had to stop and listen to that guy rant about math. As soon as he said, math teachers, I was like, what? What's he bitching about now? <laughs> then he went on about how, like, dividing by zero can set off end time. What the f- Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. Somebody divided by zero. Okay. So, this is mostly flat. And there's a big difference between mostly flat and all flat. See, this here, this is mostly flat. You were thinking that it's all flat. Nope. See? Mostly flat. All right, I'm pulling you out. Loose teeth, coming with me. Why are they not lined up? Oh, because they were coming around to turn. Like, what the f Am I gonna rip these all the way to the border? And have to climb down the hill myself? Yes. Yo, I ain't done highway work in a fat minute. Oh wait, no, I have. I've done a little bit of highway work on my uh, Oasis build that I'm just, like, really sorry about. Like, I feel so bad about that pick and the fact that Noob built an entire fucking city on that and I didn't do shit on it. Like, I am almost to the point where I'm like, dude, do you just want to, like, pick the next map? I'm going to consult with him heavily on the next pick because I feel really bad about the last one. I'm sure he's going to be like, oh, it's no big deal. And I'm be like, nah, dude. He plays only, 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 only Skylines. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen him stream anything else. He's crazy consistent with the uh, times of day. It's just nuts. Babysits buildings. Gonna get them to be what he wants. Uh, yeah. He needs to be in a snap. I've only been saying that forever. You know what? I'm dumb. There's a couple of you guys I can recommend on snap. Speaking of... Is that, like, mostly dead? Yes! Ding, ding, ding. Wookie was good. How you doing this morning? <laughs> There's a difference between mostly flat and all flat. <laughs> See, this here, this is mostly flat. We want all flat. <laughs> That's got to be a thing now for airports. <laughs> Is it mostly flat or all flat? Nope, this is mostly flat. <laughs> you up until 3 in the morning on Planet Coaster? I mean, I was up until about 1.30 in the morning with giddy hype about this. And then I was like, all you have to do is sleep, wake up, and then it's Skyline's time, ding dong. Set your alarm for five hours and get up. So, my caffeine spike is going to wear off. I highly doubt this is going to be a 12. Today might be something crazy. That, not like a 12, but I might do something like a 6 or an 8. And then take a 2-hour break and then come back and do it again. 2 or 3-hour break, come back and do it again. Because if I get hyped for Skylines, the time starts to fall off, fall off the day. But you guys have also seen me completely completely lose steam in the middle of building and go from like you know it's a all right i'm done third cup of coffee yeah um this morning's stream was brought to you by bang energy drink make your day go bang i don't know if that's their uh 
their slogan, but it makes your heart go bang. It's like, bro, I don't know if that's a good thing. Oh no, is this the flat I want out here? Maybe for the highway. Yeah, that's fine. I'll sneak past this. Maybe I'll leave that bit farmland. And my doctor said, watch the caffeine. Watch your caffeine intake. Try and take care of your blood pressure before we guys start putting you on shit for it. I'm like, okay. I already bought this energy drink before then. But this is the last one of those I'm ever gonna have, apparently. The last bang, you know. You don't need 300 milligrams of caffeine shoved down your throat in an energy drink. That's too much. Like, you know how Monster says, Oh, you really shouldn't have two of these in one day. Okay, like, you can. You, sh you really shouldn't, but you can. Two Monsters is what? 160 by two? So you're looking at 320-ish? Maybe 340-ish? If it's a 168, I forget. What's in a regular Monster? I have to look at it per ounce. I think Bang might be more potent than Red Bull per ounce. It's not as potent as 5 hour per ounce. That's because 5 hours a shot. It's like if you were to drink a full size drink of 5 hour, you might die. <laughs> it's like, compare... Ounce per ounce, that'd be like comparing the small Red Bull to four five ounce and or two to four of the five hour energies. So no, 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 no. Five hours is definitely the most potent, but um, I mean, unless you're gonna start doing like cocaine, which I super don't recommend. <laughs> as much as I joke about, you know, like <clears throat> I'm awake. No, I don't. I don't do anything like that. I don't do any drugs up my nose. They go in my arm. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> usually go from coffee to Coke. Coca-Cola. I mean, usually go from your coffee to Coca-Cola. <laughs> so if I make more of this... Uh, ladder? Or do I have it come down to this flat? Because this flat's a nice flat. I like that flat. That's a nice flat. Wait, is it? Am I going to be too... Oh, the airport thing will do this for you. Yeah, I know, but you know what? I've been flattening my areas for so long. Not building cities on flat, but flattening areas for construction projects well before I do the project. You know, I've been doing that for a minute. There was one of the, like, tips that came out before this where they explained, like, how you should set up your public transit networks and the advantages of doing that and that you need to flatten your airports and stuff and I watched that one and was just like it was a short one it was like five minutes or whatever I watched that and at the end I was like so everything I've been doing okay you can't get mad at something like that you can't be like oh well I've always been doing that and just go cool sweet confirmation No, I've always been doing them do that way. This shit. Anybody want to argue? I'll go prove it. I'll show you my cities run with an express from the airport to downtown to 
the stadium to back. Like I've, I, I've had people ask me why my city was laid out in the way that it was. My Swamplands build, the one that uh really went crazy with the train network. Have had people ask me why do you have lines that go just straight from there to there? Are people gonna get yes. Yes, that's, that's what you do. You have an express line that goes from your airport transit hub to your downtown transit hub to blah, 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 transit hub to transit hub. Yeah, and you just turn your transit hubs into transit hub parks and shit starts to look real pretty. I mean, you gotta know basic layout and other things, but yeah. It's starts to look real pretty. I'll try to think more out loud. Like, and then I just say nothing. <laughs> I'll try to think more out loud. Silence. Like, uh, I guess he doesn't think anything? Not, not now. I'm just flattening. Uh, radio DJ? Come on. Fault tech cameras. Yeah, I think this radio station best, might have a little bit of a... Big. That's why There's another station. The biggest on the market. Our shutters, the Should we switch to the other radio station? The longest. Cameras aren't paperweights. They're tools. Tools used to create. In fact, the most valuable camera is the one that you're afraid to take outside. Fault tech. Only the best. I saw that message. That better not be him being upset that he didn't wake up at four in the fucking morning. I didn't expect him. I don't expect him to be near. He's West Coast. At Burn Bean Coffee. Hey, does anybody know if Moose woke up really early or if he just stayed up all night? Because <laughs> I saw him on when I, or I saw him like online and stuff, maybe not necessarily streaming, when I went to bed. And then he was definitely on this morning when I got up, so did Moose stay up all night? All while generally making more noise than anyone could reasonably ignore. So drink up and let the productivity flow. Sippy, sip, nah, it's really weird because, like, I'll self-commentate when I'm hanging out with, like, family and stuff now. They're like, why are you talking so much? I'm like, I'm sorry, it's my job to just talk, to fill the air, to fill the air with space. Or, to, yeah, to fill, yeah, to fill the space with words. That's kind of my job now, so I'm sorry if I do it too much. <laughs> Yeah, see? See? I knew that I knew I knew that was gonna be some variation of damn it, I'm late. Dude, I did not expect you to roll into this stream until your normal time of about seven o'clock in the morning. Hello, it's six AM. I did not expect you to be in here yet. So good morning, Samus. Everyone say good morning. Holy crap, let's send him let's send him some caffeine vibes. Should I get a Red Bull emote just for American Truck Sim? And then I could use it in some other situations. It's like, I'm gonna run in and get a Red Stop at the gas station. It's just like, Red Bull. <laughs> Even though I don't drink Red Bull. <laughs> it's just a globally common, you know. It is the globally dominant energy drink. Monster only kicks its ass in the States because we're weird and we like candy. Hell, I didn't expect you to be here that early. That's nuts. Let me look at this. Let's see. I got... Oh, okay. That was a comment. Something else. Cool. Yeah, shit. Speaking of, it's Chester coming back out of the dark lake. You said you are working on getting his setup working more and his account a little cleaned out. him play some shit. But Bored, where are you gonna farm? Where are you gonna plant the food and the trees and the and where are you gonna you gonna to plant the where are you gonna plant the pigs and the cows and the strawberries and the apples and shit? Did 
technology? I don't know. Maybe I'll use greenhouses next to airport stuff because they'll blend in and look all right. Or warehousing next to airport, you know. Does an airport create ground pollution? I mean, in reality, yeah. <laughs> Kinda. Not like a factory, but it's definitely not neutral on its ground pollution. It's the shit they put on the runway. That runoff, if they don't, like, collect it. If it's in, like, a northern climate, the amount of, like, salt and cinder and shit they throw on that just to make it usable. Like, blast it. That'll run off. That's not exactly great for, uh, whatever, but at least it's just... Yeah. Oh, and, uh, fuel. Yeah, fuel. The excessive use of fuel that goes on at airports is somehow probably not great. I would imagine that if it's all done correctly, it wouldn't really be that much of an environmental leak. So is this game going to make me use fuel trucks, or can I be in an advanced airport that has um, fuel lines built into the uh, built into the terminals? Yeah, see, the extra buttons of buying and selling soil aren't there if you just use unlimited soil. So, my, yeah, that's a cool addition that I don't really care about. Wait, what is this? Airport fence! Hey, we don't have to use some kind of fake ass. I mean, we would usually... Okay, yeah, that's that's the right shit. People would use, like, oil and ore, or zoo. Use zoo, because it looks like a straight-up barrier, you know? We used to use a lot of that for aligning our airport edges. But now we actually have airport fence, so that's, that's good. We have airport path. Freaking no. There's airport everything! Alright, I am like. Yeah, my body doesn't like being up this early. Alright. Sec, I'll be back in a little bit. Uh, this one. host Harry live this hour we're talking about a little thing called infinity and when I say a little thing I actually mean two little things now, imagine a, a tiny grain of sand now you take that piece of sand and split it into an infinite number of atoms all right fine to infinity, Let me stand up still all you're looking at is a, a piece of not. sand just but be like oh, okay hand, do nothing together 
and add up all the little grains of sand in the universe, that's when you get to the big infinity. Two different infinities. Yeah, well, infinity. hydrate big while you're at it. But you mention that to a math teacher, they'll look at you like you don't know arithmetic. You know why that is. My regular listeners get it. All right, that's enough truth for now. Time to get back to the program. All right, back to it. <sighs> that dude hates math teachers. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> he hates math teachers because of some of, like, the basic rules of math. Like, you can't divide by zero, so he, like, is pissed. Like, what is this, some kind of thing? Like, you're gonna let us blow up the world? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like... I don't think any of the DJs are like normal except for the guy who plays like classics. <laughs> I think the rest of them all have like a weird quirk to them. Like the DJ on the Mars radio station, she's she like acts like poor people are like completely disposable. <laughs> So how's everybody doing this morning, afternoon, could be evening for some of my viewers. How's everyone doing out there? We got this going on here. I think I'm going to pull it down to there. Make go flat a little bit. Give me some space to do some shit, but I think around here I'm going to pull back down. So let's get in here and start working highway work. What kind of spacing are these? One, two, three. It's not awful. Let's see. Yeah, they are. Okay. First jaunts first. We got it. You know what? I usually do something at the border. I connect from here and here. Okay, no. Other way around. Bump, 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 bump. Last one's always like that. Got one, two, three. Batten it up from here. Up over the top. I don't like these slow hills because every time you connect to it, you get this little flat shit. I don't like that. Unless this happens to be flat across here. You know what? Whatever. I'll deal with it later. Like, this map's cool, but these slow hills are just... Oh, they're going to turn into lots of plateaus. Like, almost to the point where I want to take it from here and have it... A flat spot and then drop down.
Ooh. New RAM. So you did you, you did go with the 64 gig kit. hills are so annoying. They're not steep, but it's kind of why it's like, alright. Let's see if that method actually works. So my assumption is that a line that gets highlighted, you notice the one line is a little bit brighter and it's uh, about the height that I'm looking for. It might actually be the height that I'm looking for. So I don't know. Is this the height I'm looking for or no? It is four. But I'm looking to go down to three. Here. No, I'm not. I'm looking to stay up. No, I'm looking to go down. That's right. Go down to three. With a little bit of... A little bit of turn going this way. So that I can do... We are the law. This accounting. one next to it. The law accounting. I know what you're thinking. Are we lawyers? Are we accountants? Well, it's a complicated question, probably requiring the services of a lawyer and, and an, an accountant. accountant. Is that us? Well, what do you think? Mm, Seems to me no. that there's a lot of you out there who I don't might think need it's the you use guys. of the law accounting. But I'll prove that's it. Hang not on. legal advice. That's life advice. In fact, we're legally barred from providing legal advice. That means they're the not lawyers. Accounting. Officially unlicensed since 2005. I don't know about accounting, but if they're legally barred from providing legal advice, I'm pretty sure that means you're not a lawyer or a failed lawyer. <laughs> like, that's either you're not allowed to tell people stuff, or you've been, like, disgracefully disbarred, because you're, yeah, no, who, no. So... To stay up on the water. Way too much energy just crammed into me. I need to stay up on the water. All right.
you can do one of these where I go out here and I go out too, but then I grab the other ones. My controller hate to hit that corner. We'll just come through here and do that again. I've got no attempted pronunciation on that one. <laughs> hey, how's it going? How you doing? Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, how pronounce? <laughs> Am I supposed to sound that out, or? Is it ill OJ? kind of like the how do I say that name <laughs> game like wait what <laughs> new viewer do you play skylines and if so do you get this new DLC yet Still feel like I'm gonna butcher that pronunciation. That three vowels in a row could go in so many directions. <laughs> Just like, ah. Uh. <laughs> You're good. It has nothing to do with you. It's just, I'm like, wait, phonetically. I might have an answer. Not always the best with answers, but I'll try. What do we got? So I got that DLC.
the aircraft stand only with terminal. Coming to you live on air, this is Harry Live I on On Air Radio. Don't no, I haven't actually touched any of this yet because I haven't gotten into the airport yet. I don't know. Let's look. Yeah, Saw's probably watched some of the pre-content stuff. So, Saw, what are we talking about here? If you're able to... jump in and... As I've actually kind of kept my eyes shut on everything that we were going to get, so that I could kind of play with it and discover all of it as I go. But... Unfortunately, that means I don't have questions about it right off the bat, because I didn't get any kind of pre-access, and I didn't watch any pre-access. Sorry. When did I turn that shit off? If the jet stands require terminal connections, I'm pretty sure that's a yes for passengers. Oh yeah, now that would make sense. Okay. I just didn't even look to see how they like split stuff up and all that. just a ramp. <laughs> it's like, bro, it's just an off-ramp. Well, that one's an on-ramp, but you know what I mean. I'm having a really hard time hitting this corner. My controller hates it. It's just the tiniest little bit of space between there and there. 
It's gonna drive me insane. There isn't anything in Planet Coaster. Well, nope, the, the camera. The camera being all stupid, it does that to me too. Okay, never mind. Now, this is just a variation of a uh, song that I don't know if it's in standard or... No, I think it's on uh, Coast to Coast. It just has the trumpet all over it and the harder beat. But yeah, it's a variation of another song from another station. I'm pretty sure it's either a downtown radio song or a Coast to Coast radio song. Probably downtown now that I think about it. Oof, that one's gonna be off ramp. Why do I have it so close? Can I do that and get away with it? I can, but I would rather do this. Oh wait, this one's going to ground level. It stays down here. It doesn't have to come up. It's where it's connecting to is at the ground. Which means it actually has a really nice long space to play with here, so. It can be even more elongated like this. It doesn't have to get out until like over here. This is connecting to this piece up here, which I put that curve back onto the highway. Drifting. This isn't the one with drift. That's just a really weird corner that maybe my thumb is retarded and it doesn't like to do. This, uh, this controller has a circle for the stick, not, um, it doesn't have ridges for the octagon. And, uh, that menu, yeah. Like these menus, straight up, diagonal, straight to the side, down, down, you know what I mean? And there's no ridges for it to fall into on the PlayStation. So unless you are being super specific and exact with it, it's really easy for it to go and bounce between them. Like, if it was drift, I'd have problems all over the place. If I had drift, I wouldn't be able to sit here like this. It would just, it would slowly be like... Or if I, like, if I, like, did this... And then it would, like, do two more clicks on its own or some dumb shit. Uh, my other controller drifts on the other stick. It drifts on this one. Thank you for the concern. That is not it, though. It's just I'm dumb. 
and it's a circle. There's no bridges for me to fall into on the exact diagonals. And because it's the th it because your thumb goes at that stick sideways, it's really weird to hit the exact directions. Like I don't usually have that complaint with the PlayStation controller because it's movement and it's not that big of a deal, but when it's exact directions like they want it to be digital, it is really annoying that it's down instead of where the D-pad is. You know how the sticks are the other way around on Xbox? Like, I kind of understand that for this situation, but other than that, I really do prefer the PlayStation controller. This is being a little weird. But nope, no drift. Okay. Is this the spacing that I want? I got one there on the side, one in the middle, one there on the side. Is it that or that? I think it's this. We'll go with the wider spacing anyway. take something from here or whatever and exit you know if you use that middle space it looks really good when you do stuff like that if you don't it's just kind of like oh you just spread out for like almost no reason okay at Akio we've been making the best in mobile phones for over 20 years how did we get there I'm also a little out of practice on that. By putting so. ringtones in every commercial that make you think your phone is ringing. Whether That's the only direction phone, that really messes with or me. Or just leave it on vibrate. We this one doesn't sure mess with me. That one doesn't mess with me. This one, these it's don't mess with me. We hear you. So don't it's be silent just when opportunity calls. Pick it up. It's for you, Akio Mobile. So I think it's just me. with us on on air radio and we're keeping it real today just the fundamentals everybody's comfortable with uh, addition uh, subtraction multiplication and division what could go wrong division people division is the greatest threat of our age and yet some people some people dedicate their lives to making themselves part of the problem you know exactly who I'm talking about. Math teachers. A math teacher will just sneer at you and say division is simply multiplication by the inverse. Well, that's all well and good until you get lower than one and the numbers start to skyrocket. Oh, and don't even think about dividing by zero. That's not infinity, ladies and gentlemen. That is an undefined number. You plug that number into a computer, you just gave that computer permission to do anything it wants. You want to take a nincompoop, unfit to operate a calculator, and give them the power to set off a global apocalypse? Think about it. All right, we'll be back after this. I don't want it on the other side, but here's a little early. Well, I mean, I guess unless it's just for this highway, then it's fine. I can always... Oh, well, it actually... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, they didn't fix it. Okay. I was going to say, did they actually fix that crap? No.
Yeah, I don't think it's a controller. I think it's just I have a hard time hitting that specific spot with this. <laughs> and it's inconvenient that it's one that I always have to go back to. This one to come down to the land and then have them all come down a hill over here. I knew I wanted to jump off. No, I think we're going to stay flat and come down a hill. to On Air Radio, jazz with a fresh beat. Keep it tuned right here.
take this one and I put it here. Why is this messing with me so much? I mean, I guess I could just do everything in a straight line. Let's just do that for now. The Brontosaurus. Yeah, that's what For I millennia, thought I was saying. These gentle and graceful giants roamed the earth, grazing off the lush vegetation of the time. Their mere existence transformed the landscape and made a lasting impact on our world. It's that legacy that Dino Oil is proud to continue by using their eons old dead bone goop to fuel your five door wagon making it the oldest form of recycling there is. Dino Oil, embrace the power of bones. Say cheese, it's Cheese Week at Big Bite Burgers and Fries. All this week, in addition to our regular menu, try our all-you-can-eat signature sides, like our famous bowl full of melted cheese, served steamy and bubbling. It's the bottomless chubbler. Or our New Orleans-inspired pork sandwich, the Pig Cheesy. And our signature flagship, the spicy blue cheese top jalapeno cheese blucher. Mmm, so hurry in and get them while they last. After all, why take a little bite when you can take a big bite?
We get loads of fan mail here at On Air Radio. All good, very few exceptions, but you know, we like to be fair and balanced here. So once in a while, I'll take a letter from the naughty pile. Here's what Heath has to say for himself. <clears throat> Harry, the only reason people listen to your show is that you're a grumpy, angry clown, and they like it when you get them all riled up. Ah, uh, Heath, my listeners tune in because they want the truth. And, as we all know, the surest way to truth is mathematics. Now, that might be something you know very little about, Heath, but you keep paying attention. You're bound to get it eventually. This is Harry Live, and we are on air. Everybody hydrate. Alrighty, I will be right back. All this hydrating. What goes in must come out. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> this 
this exit needs another leg. This is why I was like, okay, uh, what the hell do I do here? It's like the place to pull off of that would be here. onto this. Time for another letter from the pile. This one is from Aaron on the south side. Dear Mr. Lyle, okay, cool. So that one has don't local this, connections. You sound a little like one of those conspiracy theorist numbskulls. Well, you can say so, Aaron, but I, I, I think you've got things a little backwards. It's true. There are some bullying, insufferable, insulting, brow-beating, condescending, arrogant blowhards out there who will fill your head full of their lies until you can't even see straight. You know exactly who I'm talking about. Math teachers. There is a cabal in our midst, people. My regular listeners know it. I know it. Aaron, you might still be on the fence a little, I guess. But keep paying attention. You'll get it. All right, that's enough letters for now. Let's get back to the program.
Okay, I don't know. I might take this one. I mean, it's gotta cross the river. There's gotta be stuff that happens over there. Is my rail connection literally just one rail that goes through here? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna need to worry about that as well. Okay, so in the meantime, that one goes here. This one comes down. It's gonna come back around this way. annoying thing. It's right there. But then it's not. Then it's
agree? Yes. All right. Kind of did it sloppily, so it doesn't look like I just pulled a hill up. Whoops. Last year, Horse, Horse Economy, Economy 3 smashed PC sales records and took the industry by storm. Now, the hit Equine Economic Simulator has a new expansion that delves into the cutthroat world of real estate. Horse Economy 3. Still waiting for that shit to come out. Can you work your way from I want my horse hat. To be the head of a major real estate empire? Can you spin your holdings into a billion dollar conglomerate? Can you work your way under the fence and out of your pen and onto your life as a property mogul? Spreadsheets have never been hotter. Pre order now and get a free horse hat. I pre ordered. Where's my hat? Come on. Stable markets. Buy low, sell hay. Dinosaurus. The only restaurant with a service are dinosaurs. Ooh, Our dinosaurs. You'll think a T-Rex is serving you T-Bone. A pterodactyl is serving you teriyaki. That a brontosaurus is serving you chili dogs. Every dish is an archaeological find, like our Stegogetti, our Raptor Burger Rex, or... Okay, so I'm blatantly trying not to make my highways dead straight. The dino droppings. So, take a trip into the wild at Dinosaurus. You can dine in or dine So I just put the airport over here? No, the airport was going to be more in the middle. 
This is On Air Radio with Harry Live, saying there's something wrong with anybody who needs to be told that you shouldn't believe in imaginary numbers. Oh, this is such a faster way of flattening. Oh my god. Why don't I just use this to flatten something and then turn it into not airport when I'm done? Because this is a way faster tool to flatten than the, than the land tool. Are you kidding me? God. Okay, so I don't know how much freaking space I'm gonna need for this shit. Including, you know, transit options and other things like that, so... Let's start just plopping pieces. Build an airport terminal, build an aircraft stand, build a runway. Okay. No info. Hotel discounts. Adds a bonus of 200 points to the airport's attractiveness rating. It's $20 a passenger per week. $20 per passenger per week? Good lord. Adds a land value bonus to the whole airport. Great maintenance. Okay. Cost $5 per 100 airports. Oh, wow. That's expensive. Okay. And car rentals. Well, that's cool. All right, so you have more tourists driving out if you put the rental car thing in there. Did we get parking garages? Like, did we finally get parking garages? Okay, concourses. Hotels and things. Were you watching a lot of the pre-release content so that you don't have any learning curve today? You just kind of start playing with it and you're good. I'm sure that's what a lot of people were doing. Ravy with the lurk. I think the devs rely on people putting cars in their pockets cars in their pocket. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, I get it. Not a parking lot. They just, like, they get there and their cars just poof. Airport cargo train station. Oh, sweet. So I have no idea what shape or anything I'm going to want this to be in. Ultra Modern Concourse Hub. What do my other road layouts look like? Modern large? I mean, I kind of like that. More than the Ultra.
wipe me down. Shit. Yes, you can. How hard can you mix and match them? Ah, uh, dude, you can mix and match them real hard. You can turn your concourse into other concourse. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, dude. Swing. All right, well, then that means I can definitely use the parking lot that I like better. Or the, uh, I like this more because it doesn't put it at as sharp of an angle. You know what I mean? This is like, um, the end of the, you know, the very end. I don't know what I'm saying. Really stupid comment, but the sharpness of the curve around this terminal reminds me of the International Terminal at LAX. Not the terminal itself, but that. Uh, zero drop frames. Excellent. 4100k. Yeah, no, just you. Just you, sorry. So I think I am going to go with Modern, but I'm going to use Ultra Modern Concourse. As a lot of my regular listeners know, I'm a, I'm a bit of a math nut, and I... Can I pull it off of there? No, it's got to be pulled off of here. for you, people. That is going to blow your mind. Based on what we know right now, we have good reason to believe that numbers larger than one don't even exist. Two, three, four? Forget it. That's a complete myth. A dozen eggs? Think again. Makes you wonder what other things we believe in that are just the mind playing tricks on us. Trying to make sense of this crazy world of ours. It's a lot to take in. I know. Try to take it in small doses. For now, let's get back to the music. You pull it really long, then you have even more sensitivity. In order to get it straight off of something, you look at when the angle changes which side it's on. I mean, you could do it mathematically as well, but... Yay, Twitch Mobile! Actually, you know what? <gasps> Woo, fuck! Okay, cool. Dopeness. Um, speaking of audio, I've been listening to this radio station for a while. Hey, Sa, I caught up on some of the radio stations, some of them. Um, I didn't have Railhawk or Sunny Breeze before, so I picked those up. I did have Coast to Coast, Downtown, Synthetic Dog, Country Road, uh, Jazz, Rock City, Relax, Mars, Gold, and obviously, well, you know, we all have these. And concerts. And then these two were new. We've been listening to On Air. That's the guy who hates math teachers. And do the other one. I haven't listened to the hawk yet. But yeah, okay. So pulling something straight out. You see the angles, 134, it's on the left, it's 135, it's on the left, it's 135, it's on the right, it's 130, yep. Okay. So if I were, like, right here trying to play this game, I don't have a whole lot of sensitivity. If I'm out here trying to play this game, I do have a lot of sensitivity.
No, oh, I like this station so far. Okay. You can make curved concourses. Slap the ass. Alright. Obviously, I don't need it that long. That's crazy. Okay. What else do I put? Wait. Is it decorations? Yeah, those are decorations. Airside. Aircraft stand, aircraft stand, large aircraft stand. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you could place it straight on the terminal itself. Or on the, uh... Wow, okay. We're gonna do a concourse hub, though. to hit, maybe? Unless I have these curve out to it. I know they don't wrap around like that. But I could have it. I don't know where the hell my runway is going to be.
That should say distance not long enough. Now, can you run? You know, can you do runway left, runway right? Or will they hate you and be like, no. These are clearly directional. Unless I do it that way and At that Akio, way. At Akio, we've been making the best in mobile phones for over 20 years. How did we get there? By putting ringtones in every commercial that make you think your phone is ringing. Whether you have a new phone, an old phone, or just leave it on vibrate, we make sure you always hear your phone in our commercials. It's our way of saying, we hear you. So don't be silenced when opportunity calls, pick it up. It's for you, Akio Mobile. not getting any audio on PC or is it just being weird thank you for joining us for another relaxing hour here at calm the mind radio this is your host Katie Calloway is this really weird shouldn't be getting all right I need to break out my phone to check this getting absolutely no audio that's really weird so i've got my phone in my hand watching this and uh i'm not getting any audio either that's what the hell that is really weird um okay can anybody hear me and if you can, what platform are you on? <laughs> that's that's not good. Just shock everything here. Gotta bring that back up. Go to that. Go to that. That's really weird. I don't like that I have no audio. I can't stream a silent stream. That nobody's gonna fucking watch that. That's kind of not good. The whole having no audio thing. Is it just me, or what the hell's going on? Should I try and come back real quick? Like, restart the stream? Nobody can hear me. It is, you guys can hear me. I have no idea what the hell all of that was. Welcome to Calm the Mind Radio. But you guys can hear me? Like you're not really fitting in. Wookie! Something missing in your life. Well, I have been informed on multiple Wookie, occasions can you hear that me? here at Calm the Mind Radio <laughs> don't worry ourselves. Or our listeners with thoughts like that. So we're just going to put those worries on the back burner. All 
we quiet our minds and stay focused on the positive. Don't touch that dial. Let me know if it's like actually back back because, or if it goes silent because I really don't want to be sitting here streaming silently. That's, that's crap. Is it back for real? You know what, I could just open my phone. Let's see if it's back. Just to double check. Might get a little bit of double audio, but that's okay. Just gotta make sure that it's working. Am I hearing anything? Ew, I'm not hearing anything here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You know what? I am going to restart. This is stupid. I will be back in like a minute. 